the last episode we saw how to install Android Studio. Now in this episode we will see how to install the Android emulator. To install Android emulator we have to go to the ADV devices that means Android virtual devices menu. Click on the tools from the Android Studio and then here you will see AVD manager. Just click over there and it will open the Android virtual device manager window. From here we have to add a virtual devices to add virtual device we just need to click on this button there is a button plus and then there is a text create virtual device just click over there and it will open the hardware window of that virtual uh, emulator here we need to configure the hardware of this uh, virtual device so here there are different categories of virtual devices we can create like tv phone then wearable os tablet so here we'll use phone only and there are many options starting from pixel xl and then the old version or every every devices are there i not every like most of the devices are there you can choose any devices but i will use nexus 6 for this tutorial okay so I'm choosing Nexus 6 and then I have to click on next button and here we have to download on operating system like Pi or something so I will download this thing as it is not installed so I need to click here download to start downloading that Android SDK so we see that uh, this is a license agreement we have to accept and after accepting we have to click next so that it will start downloading the SDK uh, it will take some time like couple of minutes it depends on the internet speed for my case I feel like one to two minutes is fine uh, to download once download is finished I will be back again uh, and I will continue once it finished downloading and installation then it will open this type of window that installing requested components SDK part. This is the SDK part, and then package to install this 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 thing, and then there is a button finish. So I just need to click finish button to complete the download thing. So now we will see there is no download option uh, after Pi. That means it is installed successfully or downloaded successfully. Then next, uh, click the next button, and this is the uh, most important configuration uh, option so for my understanding i feel that uh, here you have to type the avd name you can type any name i am just putting it the default one then there is it is showing that the nexus 6 version and then the pi uh, which we selected there's the operating system android operate uh, android version and then startup orientation now this option emulator performance here there is graphics uh, generally android emulator is very very slow that is my personal experience but to make it faster we have to choose from graphics to hardware then it will use the hardware graphics and it will render very fast uh, but if you uh, you can try with other one uh, but for my experience uh, for my case and my computer or my imac i found that hardware is the best and it is very fast once I choose there, then we have to click on finish button to finish the uh, hard uh, the emulator configuration. So I'm going to click on finish, and then once it is finished, it will pop up this window. In this win window, we'll see all the devices uh, which we configured. So right now we just configure only one device. That's why it is showing only one device list like nexus 6 and the ipa version is 28 and this is the resolution and also what is the space it uh, actually it is actually required uh, for it to store this thing it is 513 megabyte and there is a play button if we click play button then the device will start and if you configure multiple devices all the devices will be listed here so after clicking this play button you will see this type of window and then and there is another one android studio would like to access the microphone just click ok and then 
just wait few more second or minute it depends on your computer configuration how fast it is rendering so for my case after clicking over there it took me like two to three minutes generally it takes uh, so just wait till it finish booting the devices so i see the device is already booted successfully now go to the main window we can close this thing we don't need this thing anymore now so i'm going to close this option and then uh, this is the application which we made this is the default application of flutter uh, during the last tutorial when we are setting uh, or configuring android studio at the time we created a dummy application like test application uh, we will not use that again i'm telling uh, just for the configuration purposes or install purposes uh, i am using that uh, i can also minimize this window we don't need i am going to minimize this thing and this is the actual code editor of android studio and here i see this is the code and this is the main dot dot file we'll come to this type of things later so now from here we see that nexus 6 api 28 it is already selected that is the emulator which you already selected and then there is beside it there is a triangle green triangle which is like play button if we click here then this code will deploy to this emulator so let's try it so i'm going to click here i clicked over there and now very soon the whole application will be loaded in this emulator few more seconds and you will see uh, there is couple of things will change like here in the console you will see uh, downloading something then launching lead.main.dart so that means it is trying to load uh, it takes some time and uh, running gradle task something it is uh, doing in the back end it will take some time uh, to start but later it will be fast because the hot uh, reload options for android studio when it is trying to deploy the application on the emulator sometimes we might get error like for this case we got some error and i see if i read the error message i could easily understand here the error message is telling that could not determine something that means uh, the android version it is unable to configure or unable to load or something like that so there is an easy fix if you google it you will find that type of solution but more uh, for my case i already faced this issue and i know the solution so i am escaping that thing how i searched instead i am showing you how to uh, fix this issue if we read if we read the error message then we could easily understand so here you will see that fail to install the following android sdk package manager and then this there, there is something install the missing component using android history sdk manager so let's go to the tools and then sdk manager and from here uh, we have to go android sdk and we are using the pi sdk okay so i have to select this on android 9.0 pi and then i have to click on ok button once we click ok button then it will prompt this again i click ok ok and then i have to choose accept and then i have to click on next to complete the download of that sdk once it is finished then it will enable the finish button i just need to click on finish button to complete the installation of that component so i'm going to click on finish and then again i will try to run the application to check whether that error is still exist or not so i'm just clicking on the play button again and i see it is again trying to open the application or to deploy the application on the emulator and in the console we are seeing that it is doing something and all the tasks we can also see here are that running gradle tasks something like that okay so once it is finished uh to deploy the emulator then we can see the application on the emulator just hold for a few minutes because it takes some time at the beginning but after uh once it loaded completely then if we change anything it is loaded dynamically because there is an option hot reload option which we will discuss later so now let's see whether it is able to uh, open the application on the emulator or not i say it is completing the deployment so i'm opening the emulator and i see that the application deployed successfully on the emulator and it is running properly so in this way we can easily configure 
uh, the emulator for Android devices uh, for this application. And if we face any issue, please put in the comment section. I will try my best to give you the solution. Thank you for watching. Thanks a lot.